Hello, I'm Dr. Richard Nagy, president of the California Dental Association. Last week, I talked about the resources and issues about going back to practice. This week, I was planning on having a continuation, but as 2020 has proven thus far, anything can change in an instant. The tragic death of George Floyd has angered me to my core with the injustice that occurs to people in our society, people like you and me, people who appear different and are attacked due to race, religion, gender, sexual orientation, or political ideology, to name a few. His killing is just another reminder of the continued racism and injustice that our society continues to struggle with today. Some of you may have personally experienced injustices in your life, and I'm sure this touches you deeply. Both the coronavirus, as well as the death of Mr. Floyd, have resulted in a devastating toll on our dental community. As many of you have seen in the news, some of the protests have been marred by the chaos of violent rioters and looters who have caused significant damage in our communities to include dental offices. We are enormously saddened by these events that are hurting our cities and our practices. As a profession, dentists naturally want to help and heal. Doing work to create change is what we dentists are trained to do. Beyond our professional training that binds us together, our differences and the diversity of our profession makes us stronger. I am proud to be president of CDA, whose core values of service, inclusiveness, respect, education, and integrity create an environment for every member and every employee without exception to be respected, appreciated, and seen. It is through the expression of these core values that we can take our collective sense of sadness and anger and manifest them into change. For instance, our advocacy for expanding healthcare access, which is rooted in service, is an organizational expression of creating change. In addition, CDA CARES events have united us together in service to those most in need communities throughout the state. I am committed in partnership with all the leaders at CDA, TDIC, TDSC, and the foundation to continue to use our innovation, compassion, and sense of humanity to courageously advocate for equality. Creating meaningful change both institutionally and organizationally is difficult work, yet meaningful and necessary. Many hot heart conversations and difficult decisions lie ahead. However, I know our strength exists in our diversity and inclusiveness, and this strength will guide us forward. This is the time for us all to be united, no matter how different we may seem to each other. These differences make us stronger. Thank you.